time no see we are back and we are going to finally put away some more photo cards here are my piles and as you can probably see we kind of have a variety and kind of not um you may see the biggest stack is the love of my life so if you don't like the boys i don't really know why you watch this channel because that's kind of what half of my videos have been about i've had a good amount of these cards for well over a month like a month and a half when i went to visit my friend in dallas again for her graduation i have them kind of organized by binders so we have like the collect books down here and then the like six nine pocket binders up here i will be showing you a few new club books that i got recently from aliexpress i hope i don't sound too nasally i think i sound a little better than i did earlier but this week i've been dealing with a lot of sinus issues for some reason so without further ado let's just get into it all right i'm gonna change the order up a little bit and start with one of my six pocket binders um because i don't have too much for this one but i am really excited because i'll be finishing um, unlock my world first i think we do have some other album related stuff yes yeah, so i do have the wish kino finally i don't know why it's taking me so long to find these kinos because all the other kinos have been pretty easy to find but these two have been giving me so much trouble so if you have the dream version of this kino, please let me know. I'm kind of desperate because it's like one of the only cards to finish my entire album collection. And then Unlock My World, finally found this card. This um, album came out last summer and I've been looking for it since. Um, so I just got it from Mercari Japan actually. But everything else, like, I found super easily. It was really just this card. And then we're going to move on to some pre-order stuff and non-album. So I have these two cards. One is the pop-up and the other one is Dear My Muse. And it's, I really like this outfit, so I wanted to have a whole row of it. And then it also matches this pajama row because she just looks so good in the music video from it. These are- both of these are PVC. I'm gonna put this on uh, this side to kind of even the way out a little bit. Um, also, I kind of heard that we may get a From Us comeback this year. Pletus just hates us, you know? And every time I open this binder, I think I complain about Pletus, but... It's again, it's halfway through 2024 and we do not have a From Us comeback. Like, are you kidding me? We have two of the season's greetings from 2024. I loved this comeback. Comeback, oh my god, see, I, I'm i already wanting to come back. I love this concept. Um, it's the ballet, ballerina one. And I watched from a 17 open it because I basically live vicariously through her. Just because like, I l love seeing people's extended like ot9 collection and just from his collections in general but yes those are super beautiful and that's all we have for this binder let me switch out these pages real quick i go back and forth between figuring out if i'm wanting to downsize this binder or not but this is such a low maintenance i think the most satisfying thing is me finally find finding this card like it was the highlight of my month all right, we're gonna move on to the other six pocket binder. So this one I've been kind of saying it's my miscellaneous binder, but right now it's my um, twice binder, my twice OT3 binder. If you have been subscribed for a hot minute, you probably remember when I used to collect um, my top three a little more. And honestly, I kind of miss it. I've been going back and forth between wanting to collect some cer uh, like certain sets for them. I bit the bullet and bought Mina's card because everything else I was able to trade, but I, she was the only one I was missing. So I just decided to buy it and it wasn't that expensive. I'm not collecting anything else for With Youth other than I have a Momo Nemo card on the way. It's her tiara version, which I was so excited to get because it's so, so cute. When I bought the album, I pulled Mina's. If I didn't like Momo's, I probably would have kept Mina's, but 
because she's also my bias, it kind of worked. We are putting one more um, twice related thing and that's Nylon's comeback. Her second mini album was so, so good. So I bought one of the regular versions and her digi back at Target. I think it was the C version and y'all, can you believe I pulled this card? When her album came out, I looked at the template like right away because I just think her cards are adorable and I was blown away. I was so happy I pulled um, some of these concepts as well, the like butterfly denim one because I think that's such a fun look. So let's see. And I think the digipack concept is really cute too. I love the orange. I really like ABCD. I think I like it more than pop. Pop is really catchy though, but the, her live stages of ABCD are so good. I love the choreo and her dance break. I can never get these freaking last pockets for these pages. It's just this batch like specifically that has that problem. The ones in my firmest binder are fine. And then I think one of my other favorite like B-sides is Heaven with Sam Kim. And I also really like Sam Kim, so I was very excited when she had him featured. If I did start back collecting, I would start with Between 1 and 2, because that's actually where I stopped collecting my OT3. Like, I finished that, and then when Ready to Be came out, I downsized again. I really, really like the sets for that album, so I'm really thinking about it. Okay, I think we're gonna go on to the collect books now. So I have these that you haven't seen yet. Um, these are really new. I got them from AliExpress because they were having like a free shipping deal for some of these. I'm like obsessed. These are so cute. Um, if you wanted to know, my favorite characters are Pachaco and Cineral. They fit perfectly with the 17 karat binders. And I finally bought this second hand from somebody. June's 17th right it, like is right here. Because I think these these sizes are like the cutest. So I finally saw somebody selling it. So we just need these for now. This is like a miscellaneous kind of collectbook. So speaking of June, this is his like album cards. So I have a few from trades for the latest album. I have two of like the regular photo book ones, the Weavers version. Someone was also se selling a lot of the sets um, secondhand too, and I just love this concept, so I really wanted to buy it. But I'm gonna start on this um, half, I guess. But I wanted to put a bunch by Chaco because since it's one of my favorite characters, I thought it'd be really cute to put one of my favorite guys in here. Okay, yes, that was all for the June binder. All right, and so this pom pom one is actually gonna be for Yosang and Yuta. They are some of my like OG biases that I've been biasing for like four years at this point. I'll trade for their cards, but not actively buy them, I guess. It depends. It really does depend on the card, to be honest, but I really passively collect them. So I have a few Yuta cards actually. Um, one from Favorite and one from Fact Check. I think it's like the Chandelier version. But yes, these were trades um, that I got. I just traded some random cards because I'm really trying to like downsize my car like my collection or downsize like my mis miscellaneous cards that I don't really care about too much. Okay, this is my small my small Utah collection. I have stuff for Golden Hour actually. Just kidding. Okay, first, actually, we're gonna start with Not Okay. Not Okay is probably one of my favorite Japanese releases from them, and I had some money off at Barnes & Noble, so I picked up a copy. I actually pulled a Yuno, and somebody offered to trade me for your songs. I thought, since it's been out for a while, that nobody would want to trade, but somebody did. I've listened to work so many times. So I bought the his like digipack and I think the blue version of the photo book one. This is one of my favorite pulls from him. I think this outfit and this color is probably like 
amazing. I was super happy to pull this one, honestly. And then the rest are like trades for my pulls. So we have this one also from the photo book. Okay, and then these pops, I have the bite version. I don't remember what this one was called, but it's like the food version and I love the back of it. It's like a, a grill. And then I know this is the European pop-up one because someone specifically asked the trade and I was cross-trading, so I didn't really mind. And then is this like the, is this one of the Hello 82 ones or is this the Target one? Because honestly, I don't remember which ones are which. So I'm going to put this one first because it's my favorite out of them. And I also think it's funny that I have like four of the same like outfits. Because I normally don't do that. Okay. It's a good decision just because I know this one isn't going to grow too much. Since I, like I said, I collect them pretty passively. Okay, so we're moving on to the composition books because these are all like my miscellaneous pulls. But when I tell you I kind of went crazy on my album, <laughs> my album haul, it's kind of embarrassing. Um, let me separate the girl groups and boy groups. I think we're gonna do the boy groups because I don't have too much. We're gonna start with NCT ones since they were up front, but I have some wavy and HM. And also like my SM NCT stuff is up front, so it's a lot easier to start with them. Hey Chan for Be There For Me S Mini. I would have really liked Yuto's for this one, but I know people were, were like really weren't trading for it. Even though I like I tried just, you know, just in case. This one, I never thought I would own, but I actually went out, out of my way to buy it just because I saw a listing on Instagram. But this is Kuhn's um, Golden Age and I don't know if this is like, which version this is, like if it's like a Japanese or like whatever version. But ever since I saw him like in the snow with the animals, I was obsessed because he just looks so like cozy. And he's one of my bias wreckers. An S mini from Ten's debut album. This came out, what, like February or something? But it's one of my favorite albums, like one of my favorite solo albums for sure. Especially like Lie, Lie With You. Yeah, that one is well repeated. Zhao Jin, um, On My Youth Diary version. I finally found a copy of that in store because I didn't really feel like ordering it. I wanted to buy that version for such a long time. I kind of want Henry's equivalent too because he's my bias and also I really like his um, diary version card, but I'm not too pressed um, about it right now. Okay, and so I really do have a lot of miscellaneous stuff. BX from their Zero or One single album. I listened to one Lovers Are Enemies so much um, that I decided to pick up a copy because I really miss them. This a BX is a pull and I'm waiting on a trade for a youngie um, coming from overseas. I'll flip the back because that's where all of my, my really miscellaneous stuff is. I used to collect CIX albums more often and then I got back into listening to them a little more because I really I really do like their music. And some of my friends even saw them on tour, which I was a little jealous of. Another group that I used to collect that I didn't think I'd have back on my channel in a while is Ace I picked up the uh, one of the platform versions from My Girl because I love this release. Listen to My Girl probably an unhealthy amount of times. So I have my pools. Wow and Dungan. I kind of picked up a random version because I wasn't really too picky about which one I wanted. But I was a little salty that I had an OT8. I mean an OT4 comeback without Chen. But hopefully they have an OT5 one in the works soon. Because they already came out with that single, like, Supernatural. Okay, and I think my Hybe stuff is back here. Yeah, it is. Okay. You Boy Next Door cards, actually. Yay, I have some Leon. He's my bias, and um, this is from their latest album, actually. The meme cards. You're kidding me. Boy Next Door are probably one of my favorite fifth gen boy groups to listen to. I don't know if I've talked about them much on this channel or stored any cards from them, 
but I really love their music. So if you like Boy Next Door, hit me up. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself, and I because I said I wouldn't buy miscellaneous cards, but I bought more cards. Of <laughs> Jung House, um, Digipack, and Unit form. You had me at hello. Um, this actually came in a set, but yes, I love outside cards, which is why I decided to get this one. I do actually mean to get his Digipack because I have his other two. Of course, I had to get the unit because they are both my biases. So it was really lucky that they got a unit together. I really do want to pick up uh, some copies of You Had Me At Hello. I don't know what it is, man. They are just so freaking good. Like, Boy Next Door and ZB1 are some of my favorite fifth gen to listen to right now. So for the ladies... This will definitely fill out a lot more. So I'll just go ahead and flip the back and add some pages. So I decided because I miscounted when I was placing it that I had seven nylon cards instead of six. Like I had to put the pre-order, I think this is a target card. Yeah, it's a target card in this one. Cause I thought it'd be nice for Nyan to get her own page, which is why I put her in my twice binder. Um, soloist we have. I don't know if I've really talked about her on my channel, but I finally have Yena cards. These are all from her platform albums because I've been on a big like platform S mini buying buying spree lately because I think they're so cute and they take up way less room. For my love war pulls, I'm so lucky I pulled these concepts. They're so cute. Hate, hate, love her nails. But yeah, I opened these with my like non-K-pop stan friend. Like she kind of listens to some, but she's not like an active stan or she's just a really passive listener. But even she was gushing with me about how cute these cards were. I've seen some of her cards for her latest comeback, Good Morning, especially with the pink hair. And y'all, I'm like, I'm really thinking. <laughs> I'm really thinking because they're so cute. And I also really like that EP as well. So if you see me collecting more Yenna cards, don't worry about it. Okay, and then the rest of the cards are actually all G Idol. Um, we're gonna do these in order. Well, kind of release order, but also not. So I'm gonna store my Oogie Pulls from her debut album. I also have one that's in a photo card holder above my desk, but I'm too lazy to get it down right now. I actually really liked her debut album, so I wanted to support her. And so I just picked it up at Target. Although I am a little, I'm like a little surprised that she released a solo album, but I think her voice and like fits her vibe that she was going with so well. For I feel, I have this one, I think it's the the cat version photo card. It was from a trade. Mion is my bias, so I also like passively collect her, I guess. Like I would love to trade for her cards more than buy them. Um, I pulled mini in Ugi, adorable, like especially Minnie's like freaking like bow moment. I also think I feel is probably one of my favorite mini albums from them, from like the, all their recent stuff. I'm kind of wanting Mion's um, crown version of the platform, but I'm also not that stressed about it either. And then another platform, I picked up Mion's um, version from their second album. I was really happy they had it in store because I didn't want to buy the full thing. Like I love how the photo book looks. But that's another reason why I just want to buy platform and poker versions instead. I didn't know that the cards for the poker versions or the platform versions would actually come with the members, but I was very like happy that it did because it saved me so much like trouble not having a trade or anything. All right, and that was all for my mini binders, and now we can move on to the last binder that might take up most of this video. All right, once again, we are saving these bad boys for last just because I never know how long it's gonna take. So I think the last time you all saw this, I just had Youngoon in here, but I did also move K into this binder as well because these are the um, some of the two idols that I'm actively collecting. So it's just easy to put them in um, like together in one binder. Okay, so we don't have a lot for K, so that's why we're gonna start with him. 
All right, so first howling now I have, I think it's a lucky draw. I don't know what store it is, but I got to trade for this. I gave up, I had to sacrifice a red velvet card, unfortunately, but I just know that it's really hard to find some of Kay's cards. For Sami Dare, I have more benefits than I have the album cards on hand for some reason. But I have the UMS and Weverse versions. And look at the hollows, guys. They're so pretty. But yeah, I found these in sets on Mercari Japan for like really, really inexpensive. So that's why I just decided to go ahead and buy them. So in terms of like album cards, I'm also in a group order for Samidare. But I think moving forward, I'll just order the cards on Mercari Japan because I saw like full sets for his um, album. But I held off just because I had the albums coming in, even though I don't know my pulls yet. But for some reason, the single albums are really easy to find stuff for. And now they just announced they're coming out with a new one, which I am really excited for. But I'm probably gonna have to like wait to get all of that stuff. Honestly, I'm both scared and impressed with myself that this is all one man. He's so easy to collect, which is why I really do enjoy collecting him. Because it's a very, it's a surprisingly low stress um, thing, even though like they have like a million cards. Okay, so first we're, we have something for Roar. It's the Jewel Case card. I actually picked up the Jewel Case finally at one of the K-pop stores I went to. And I don't know if the member comes with them, but I pulled him, which was so great because it was the last one I was missing. I don't really know if I like that layout, to be honest. But it'll have to do because I have no idea how else to arrange it. So I have the film card, it came in a set, but I was honestly happy to get it because it's an album inclusion. Total side note, I miss my guardhouse shield pages. These hooker ones are okay, I just seen like a lot of people use them and they were easier to get, but in my opinion, I still think the guardhouse shield ones are better. The platform versions, I actually have all of the, what are these, the official, the official concept ones. And I think, what is the order? I think this is the order. I have one of the platform selfies on the way, so I'm only missing one, which is nice. I would like to get the DVD versions um, and then this whole page would be filled up, but that's so hard to get because each of the cards I've seen so far for the DVDs, I've been like at least 20 bucks. And at that point, I might as well just buy another album. All right, and then six cents. I have cents, I do have a few more of the Poker versions as well to finish off this page. In that Poker Market batch, I have all of the selfies as well coming. I was waiting for the prices to drop and they finally dropped um, to a price I wanted to pay for platform stuff. But same thing with um, Christmas and August, like the platforms were kind of expensive for some reason. Okay, I think this was, yeah, so, yeah, Love Letter. Would y'all believe I have the whole set for Love Letter? But I think I have them in order how I wanted them, because I wanted uh, the concepts on each side. So, amazing, like some of my favorite photo book cards of his. I think this set is probably one of my favorites from him. I just think the vibe is different. Yes, and then the last for like album cards is Japanese cards. So I finally have two She's the Boss cards. Don't ask me why these are so hard to find, but they are. And since there's six cards, two cards per version, I'm just doing like one, two, three version. Um, nothing for Delicious yet, but I do have the last album card on the way. They literally just announced 
a new one and I'm really excited. So stay tuned for that. Um, I actually need to look at the album details so I can set up a page for them. I don't think I have. All the fillers I have are cards on the way. Yeah, I think it's just love letter. Yeah, it's just love letter pops. Okay. So we have all of these pops. So until I get like more of them in, like the other ones I have coming in, I'll rearrange them later, I guess. Just because I don't know how I want to do it. Because for part two, I kind of organized it by concept. And I think that's what I'm wanting to do or leaning towards for Love Letter as well. This one is adorable. It's a little bit blush too. You're like, you're kidding. It's good for now. All right, and the rest I have are non-album stuff. So this is my miscellaneous. I do have the last Lapothesel selfie coming in too with the Poke Market. I just really love Blonde Youngun. Actually, I have fantasy, like the QR codes. And so I think I'm gonna put them on a random page because they didn't fit with my layout and they just came in sets. So that's why I have them. Otherwise I wouldn't go out of my way to like get them at all. Um, we're gonna do these first. Of the boys, fan con merch, um, the B zone. I don't know when this was, but I thought the concept looked so adorable. And the signature is hollow, if you can see that. Amazing. I would love to get more of his training cards, like for like the generation ones, but those are also like those are kind of surprisingly expensive, and I'd rather buy them in sets as well. Not me rushing because my phone is less than 20% battery. Yay! That is so nice to have, finally. All right, and then we have Season's Greetings, actually. I think it's 20... 22 through 2024. And they all fit on one page, which is really nice. So for 2022, it's the archery. And I was really happy to see that he had the archery concept because I loved archery in school. I don't know if anyone else's schools did this, especially in America, but in like middle school to junior high, uh, we did archery in gym class. And I was actually pretty good at it, surprisingly. Like I've never done it before. Like when like some stuff in class when you're having like little competitions and whatever. But yeah, I don't know why they let like 10 through 14 year olds have arrows, but beats me, I guess. This one is the pottery version, their latest um, season's greetings. I think it's adorable. It's surprisingly like, really low key uh, compared to the other years, but I think that's fine, honestly. Okay, I actually need... Do I need one more page or am I gonna actually put this on this page? Okay, so the last thing for this video ever is um, the B Fan Club six one. It's the six one. Um, I also bought this as a set, but also, but he's so cute that I had to buy it anyways. Now I don't want to waste a whole page on it, but I would like to get the fifth. The B Fan Club as well, because I think that's like five. So it would fill up a page really nicely to have like a fan club page and the, then just back click from there but for now um he can just go on this page all right we're gonna end here on this completed nectar page it felt so good to finally store those cards because like i said i've had them since like may at least let me know if you want to know anything about the cards or where they're from comments are always appreciated. I really like interacting with you guys. So stay tuned for my mid-year collection video, which is another reason why I wanted to um, film this before that got started. And yes, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Bye.